Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brennan here today with the long-awaited Astra mythic hero Naga uh, and her corresponding mythic banner, uh, which yeah, I'm kind of eh on. Uh, speaking of, that's kind of my thoughts on Naga as well. Uh, she wasn't my first pick for our first Astra hero, uh, and looking at her kit, I'm not particularly impressed. I feel like a lot of it needs to be changed, uh, particularly if you're running two copies of her. Uh, and then her stats ended up being kind of weird. Uh, not, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm just... Everything I've seen about Naga has made me slightly less enthusiastic, but I do still want to get her for the sweet, sweet Aether Raid points and ranking up and getting uh, more Grails for my Grail projects because I've got so many I'd like to build in the future. Uh, so obviously we are going to be focusing blue. Uh, not wild about her unit she's sharing focus with Hector and Tiki. They both have Bold Fighter, which is cool, but I don't use armors too much. I wouldn't mind getting either of them just to use, but then after that, their use as fodder goes, they're kind of just all right. Uh, I could give Bold Fighter to Grimma with an extra one, and Tiki does have Fierce Breath, but, like, I don't know. I prefer the defensive breaths, so, eh. Uh, our secondary color pick will be colorless because I'd like an extra Duma to uh, just help with my uh, lift loss on defense. Uh... Kind of same deal, Valoria and Levatine both wouldn't be bad to pull one of, but then after that I'm a little less enthusiastic. Uh, though Levatine does have, I think, Wrathful Staff, so that's always useful. Uh, but Valoria is not great fodder-wise. Uh, if there's no blue or colorless, we'll be going with red for Rid and Erica. Gunthra's actually not too bad she's got the uh, level 4 c skill that i could fodder to someone like legendary azura or just for arena purposes so again red not terrible green uh pretty underwhelming we've got fjorm lu and uh everyone's favorite golden week uh party ruiner uh legendary lin uh again not terrible fodder uh, Lou has Rally Up for arena scoring, Fjorm's got a uh, Link skill that's pretty nifty, and Lin has the ever-elusive speed tactic, but I, I, you know, it's just not that exciting. So uh, I've managed to accumulate 360 orbs over the course of this month, uh, so we're going to go in and try and earn some Mythic Heroes. Uh, so let's just get started. Pull these blues. Uh, yeah, we're going to be trying for two, uh, maybe, depending on how long it takes us to get the first one. But I would like to get at least one copy. Uh, but two would definitely be ideal. Uh, and then if a Astra hero that I like more comes out in the future, then I can just kind of merge or whatever. Uh, also, since we're pulling blue, maybe we'll manage to finally nab that Mordecai that I really want. Uh, also wouldn't mind a plus attack Est. Um, and Silas is always a good pull, uh, because he's got reposition and, uh, sturdy, or, uh, not sturdy stance, uh, steady stance? Uh... His A skill. I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head, but so far we're having not great luck. Uh, but at least we're getting those blue orbs. Uh, come on. Show me something good. Nah. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of planning out uh, for what I want to do in regards to Astra and I've got most of my team down, but the fact that Naga is blue is kind of throwing things off because it just, it means that it's, I wanted to use Mordecai as part of it, so that would mean that I've got three blues, which makes it pretty uh, lopsided color-wise, 
Uh, I also wanted to bring Morgan in because Naga boosts defense, so I needed someone to be a mage tank. And Morgan, I was already kind of wanting to do Astro Blessing just for aesthetic purposes. So uh, that made sense, but she's blue as well, so <laughs> it's just very lopsided. Uh, I definitely prefer air with having ranged attacks, boosting res, being colorless. There's just a lot going for air. Also, uh, she has uh, passive healing every turn. Air, is, air just really was like the full package, and I, I kind of didn't realize that at first, but I've come to appreciate air. And, ooh, yes, plus attack Est. I, I was thinking about building Est, but the one that I have is like minus attack, I think. I turned all the other ones into combat manuals, so I was like, maybe I'll build an Est for Aether Raids to go alongside my uh, uh, Pain plus Lucius. Uh, for dismantling armor. And, ooh, we got Naga! Uh, real quick, that Est also has a synergy with the double airs because they will they can trigger her uh, Lance's effect. So I'm excited about that plus attack air, and I'm very excited about this Naga. Uh, the, wonder, the Wondrous God, Divine Dragon, with 30 attack. <laughs> uh... But man, sprite-wise, oh, she's so good, especially the dragon sprite. Oh, it looks so nice. I love her dragon sprite, and she's just very pretty. Her art is pretty. Just even her voice, I, I kind of like her voice. I, I've heard some people aren't wild about it because she's she sounds kind of like serious, uh, but I, I like it. And uh, this is a plus def minus res. Her res was already kind of lacking from what I was hoping for and <laughs> this one's even worse but you know uh there we go uh let's let's talk about her kit real quick uh her weapon is pretty good but aside from that I feel like most the rest of this is kind of eh uh well Luna is okay I don't know that that's her best special but I don't think that one's bad uh where it gets ugly is where we when we get to here her a slot is is I don't like these. They're very these AR skills are very situational. They're only for use in Aether raids. They don't do anything in the other modes. Uh, so like if you know you want to use her as a uh, a unit in uh, arena assault, and it happens to be Astra Earth season, and you pair her with Legendary Ike. Suddenly, like you know, if you don't swap this out, she's just got a she's got no A skill which is just lame. So I'll probably swap that out. I don't like that on her. Um, chill speed is okay, but if you're running two, which at the moment, if you want to score high in Aether Raids is optimal, that second chill speed doesn't do anything. So it could be considered kind of a dead slot. I would have preferred something like Mystic Boost, of course, is a great skill, but even something like Dull Ranged would have been more exciting in my opinion, because it would it would actually do something for Naga herself. Uh, and then finally, Divine Fang is a very solid skill, actually, but again, it has the same kind of problem with Chill Speed where it doesn't stack. Uh, there will be situations where it's like, oh, I've got uh, Naga on this side of the screen and Naga on this side of the screen, and they're not next to each other, so their allies can both benefit off of it. But I feel like, first of all, well, I feel like there's just that's not gonna come up too often because of her weapon kind of encourages you to stick close to allies, so they'll your teams will probably kind of end up clustered anyways. Aether raids tends to be kind of clamped cramped a lot anyway, uh, so I just feel like that second copy is just kind of redundant. Like it's a solid skill on its own, but when you're running that second copy, uh, I'd rather probably run like a drive or a tactic. Uh, but the skill itself isn't bad, uh, though a little situational if no one's using dragons. Uh, but, you know, that that's just kind of my thoughts. So basically, I want to, if I get a second one, I'm pretty much overhauling her whole kit. Uh, but as far as this one goes, I'll probably just overhaul this and maybe her B skill. 
but uh, take all of that with a grain of salt because I'm not one of these uh, super smart people who understands all of the uh, ins and outs of these things. That's just kind of my uh, opinion. I haven't gotten to actually test her. Maybe she'll end up being a lot more useful with her C skill and it's worth running to. I don't know yet. That's just my first impressions. But uh, anyway, we're going to pull this colorless and pull a Duma. Maybe. <laughs> Come on, Duma. Nah, it's Klein. You know what? That's not bad. Uh, Death Blow was something I was considering as a budget option for Naga, or I could put it on Est. I bet that's a pretty good A skill on Est, so. Uh, nothing wrong with that. We're going to stop with that. Oop. Stop there. And now we need one more blue and one more colorless. We got her pretty dang quick. Or not one more colorless. One Duma. And, uh, yeah. So, those are my very messy thoughts on AR. <laughs> There we go! Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh, that's exciting! I was so certain I would end up with like a plus three Hector in no Nagas. Uh, plus def minus HP, I th think? Mm -hmm. Which one's better? Her res is already kind of low, so I kind of feel like this one might be better, but... Uh, there we go. Um... I want Duma. I want Duma. But, um... Uh... Let's see. Do I need blue? Uh... I kind of want Mordecai still. I wanted Mordecai, but... <laughs> I guess I don't really need blue. I should probably pull red from here on out instead of blue. Hey, it's the Reinhardt. Uh... Speaking of, that's what I wanted to, to mention next. I'm trying to decide who I want to be my Aether Raids tank. Originally, I was going to go with Faye because I've got a 4-star plus 10-1 already kind of mostly built. I was just going to slap uh, uh, Null C Disrupt and DC on her, swap out her breath for, like, water breath, and call it a day. But the fact Naga's running around kind of makes me a little hesitant to do that. Um... I wanted a green tank to kind of parallel with my Inigo, who does awesome things uh, with Null C Disrupt, countering uh, horses and various Reinhardts uh, and Veronicas, not horses, horses in general, it, you, it tends to be horses, but generally Reinhardt and Veronica are the two, the two big ones he counters. So I was leaning towards that. I was leaning towards a green one. But like I said, the the fact Naga is going to be running around makes me a little hesitant to go in on Faye. I was thinking Libra, but I only have one Libra and he's minus attack. And I feel like without merges, his stats are kind of gross and not that appealing. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I thought about also maybe just like female Robin, but then I'm not getting that DC, so it feels a little gross there. Um, I could even, I, I thought about this as a joke, but the more I'm thinking about it, the more it kind of makes sense. I could go with Null C Disrupt DC Anna, because she'd be a bonus unit fairly often. Uh, she's got decent res, decent speed. Her attack and defense are low, but defense would get patched up by Naga. And then, you know, give her like a horse slaying axe and suddenly... The uh, low attack doesn't matter as much. It sounds really gimmicky, but it also sounds like it might work. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do as far as team comps go. Like I said, uh, Naga's color is very limiting. Why did I pull green? I'm, I was talking about greens, and then I pulled green. But you know what? Here's Lou. Um, who I do like, but... That attack is really gross. I could do Null C Disrupt Lou, I guess. But I kind of want to actually use him for attack faint fodder. 
because uh, that that lines up to what I was thinking. I, I meant to pull colorless, but I'm I was talking about green and I got distracted. But like I said, team comp. I've been trying to decide what I want to do with all this. I'm thinking about building a second male Corin uh, to support for Astra season. Um, I tried Marth. I tested him. And I found him kind of underwhelming. Like, he's not bad, but I feel like... Well, I really wanted to use Marth because I already had him built. Um, he had the... He had the dragon slaying because, you know, Duma is a thing and he does pop up every once in a while on Astra season. So I figured, well, having a support unit that has built in Duma counter could be really useful. Except Naga is a thing now and she turns everyone else into a anti-dragon unit. So having Falchion makes, does not really set Martha apart anymore. So I'm just kind of leaning towards building a second corn and doing my same stupid brain dead strategy because it kind of works and that Lou appearing kind of supports that. I wouldn't invest as heavily into the second one, uh, mostly because I don't have feathers for feathers and copies for merges to plus 10 him and I don't have Fury 4 to give him another one. But now I do technically have uh, attack faint to give him. <laughs> uh, so that's an option. I don't know that I want to go full in on all of these, uh, orbs to try and just chase a Duma, a second Duma, but I'm willing to drop some of them. There, I, I also kind of want to get Fjorm, Bridal Fjorm. Uh, we'll have new heroes coming up. I want Yoon at the end of the month, and then Byleth will be probably showing up fairly soon after Three Houses comes out. Ugh, there's so much stuff that I want. Uh, I don't know what to do, so instead I'm just spending on Duma, who I don't really need, but not having to worry about Ast or, uh, defense as much during Astra Anima season would be very nice, so that's my thought process. Come on, Duma, show me the power of Regal, demonstrate its strength to me, or just send a little Sakura here, I don't think that's very helpful. I should set like a limit to when I stop pulling, but I'm not sure what that should be. Hmm. I could use another Morgan. Oh, wow, it's Soleil. I haven't seen her since I got my last one for my plus 10. Um, that's actually exciting because I could put Drive Res on my second Naga. Um, man, I forgot how terrible your base skill set is. I could give Fire Sweep Sword to someone, but like, I can't really think of anyone who I want Fire Sweep on. So, um, that's not bad. Like I said, I kind of want Morgan for dull ranged and spur def res on uh, that second corn if I build him. And then dull ranged on my female Morgan, I'm thinking would be a nice thing to have. But but I um, only have one extra Morgan at the moment, so let's maybe change that. <laughs> I'm, I'm still sad that I didn't pull a... Mordecai because I don't pull blue too often but uh well here's Gunthra that's pretty nice um minus attack now I don't have to feel bad about foddering you uh, joint hone speed oh you have joint hone speed I thought you had a uh, hone speed four all right I was gonna say I know the the better play would be to put a uh, hone speed four on legendary Azura, but I was thinking maybe I'd put it on one of my uh, arena units. But this I would feel much less bad about putting on an arena bonus unit. Uh, probably Anna. I'm kind of just all in on Anna at this point. She's my best bonus unit. Um, 
so far, pretty good luck, I'd say, considering I'm sniping and that's not really the best way to play legendary banners, but, um, overall pretty lucky. Two Naga, a Lu, and a Guntra. But no Duma. No Duma. Please, Lord Duma, grant us your strength. Alright, just regular Erica. That would have been cool if it was horse Erica. Um, could have done some gale force shenanigans. But alas. Maybe I should stop at 200 orbs? I don't know. I don't know. We got the Nagas so fast. Um, Come on. Colorless. There we go. I need one Duma. One Duma. Like I said, Valoria wouldn't be bad. I could put her on my Gale Force team to make Naysala more consistent because his problem is he's always like one charge short because he can't run a, like a slaying weapon because there's no slaying beast weapon. Um, so that would help him be a little more consistent. And Levitine just always want more healers. Uh, I'd maybe give her, like, Witchy Wand or something. But, um, plus HP minus resist. I'm thinking building Azama as my Pain Plus tank for, uh, or my Pain Plus spreader for, uh, Astra Season. And he'd get really high defense with Naga's boosts, but his attack will still be terrible. So he will need someone else to help clean up the, uh, enemies that are left standing. I'm thinking maybe Soleil will be a good candidate for that, but here's a second Azama. And bounce. Come on. Oh, where is Duma? I just need to make Astra Anima Season the perfect week. But we can't pull a second Duma. Ew. It's Agma. It's Agma. With his no good fodder and his uh, weird biceps, they uh, they haunt me when I close my eyes. I do not like them. Uh, Felicia, come on, Duma, grant me strength. Felicia, man, when I eventually decide I want a plus 10 Felicia, I am going to be able to do that. <laughs> now I'll probably turn it, I'll probably turn a bunch of them into like iceberg fodder. I think she has iceberg or she has iceberg or glaciers. I don't remember which, but the point is she will become fodder. Come on. Duma. Lord Duma. Ooh, Levitine. Not who I wanted. But, uh, she's alright. Uh, minus speed, though, is icky. Um, her staff isn't bad, but I'd, I'd probably swap that out. I'm think, I was thinking of maybe swapping her for witchy wand if I got her so I could have a mounted witchy wand unit but I'm already thinking of putting Sakura as an Astra hero and I don't need two witchy wanders maybe I should give Sakura the pain plus staff I don't know I feel like a, a cavalry witchy wander is more useful than a cavalry pain plus unit because you're probably already going to be able to outmaneuver armors anyway so I don't know. But there is a Levitine. And there's a Kaze. Always need more Kazes. Um, I should stop now, but I kind of don't want to. I, I kind of want to keep going. 
I know this is a mistake. I am aware of it. But. But I want Duma. Not Gordon. Maybe I'll stop at like 150. And then if nothing else I want comes out, we could come back. But I really want Duma. Ah, <sighs> no. I just want to not have to worry about defenses because my defenses are always terrible. Actually, I've gotten like two wins this week. One was a timeout because my Veronica has Miracle and the other one, uh, they just like quit halfway through. But they, uh, they quit. But I think that second one was when I already had a grace period up. So it just didn't feel very helpful. I was like, man... That's a waste. I never get defense. I never get uh, actual wins. And the one time, or one of the few times it happens, it's when I, it doesn't matter. I'm like, man, no consistency to my defense setup. Come on. That's why we need Duma and then Yoon. And then I don't have to pull on Mythic Banners Again, unless I actually want to. I just want to not have to worry about dropping out of tier 21. Come on. And nope, 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 nope. Rebecca is decidedly unhelpful. Uh, another Levitine. That's okay because she does have good fodder and minus speed. This is the same one. Did you just send me the same one? She's got Wrathful Staff fodder. I can put that on Lucius. And then he can do... He could probably solo armors on his own then because he's got decent attack. Or I could put it on... Halloween Mia, though I don't feel like she really needs it. I don't know. But I do wish that was Duma, that's what I know. I know that I wish that had been Duma. Come on. One Duma. Well, there's Valoria. I technically have everyone from Colorless now, but I do need a second Duma, so... What are you, what have you got? Minus speed plus defense? Um, I don't remember what her end stats look like off the top of my head, but... Uh, Wolf Pup Fang is the real prize there. Oh, but that means if I want to run her with Naysala, I have to break up his support with his wife. That's a little sad, huh? <laughs> um... Man, the rest of this isn't very helpful, but her fodder options, not stellar. Come on. Ah, George. All right. Um... Maybe this will be the last one we do, and then we could come back later, I guess. Ah, Kagero. I'm just thinking, if I pull a second Valoria, I'm a lot less enthusiastic about that. So maybe I should just wait for Duma to come back with better units to share focus with. But at the same time, I kind of just want Duma. I know that the appearance rate hasn't gone up. We'll, we'll go a little bit longer because I've got a problem. My barracks should be getting pretty filled up by now, I think. 
There's a Gaius. That's just taking up space in my barrack. Come on. Duma. Duma. I should really just quit. But I want him. But I'm getting some clients. That's nice. I wish they were four star clients at least so I could save feathers. But. Duh. <sighs> Satsuna is not helpful. Come on. Maybe I'll stop after this one. I don't know. I wish that second Levitine had just been Duma. <laughs> Come on. Nothing. It's Leon. Not terrible, but not super exciting. And this one is... This one is... An old man. Nope. Not helpful. <sighs> Alright. I think I'll call it at 100. Or whatever. After I pull any colorless stones after I hit 100. So. <sighs> Felicia. <laughs> I won. I'll stop at 100. Or the session that gets me to 100. Or if my barracks fill up, whichever happens first. Because we can come back if we need to. Oh my goodness! This is cursed. Cursed. We had great luck, and I mean, technically this technically this is still great luck, but like it's not great luck in the way that I wanted it to be. I shouldn't complain though, because like I said, it's great luck. There's a Seth. I already have my plus one Seth. I don't need more merges on you. Goodbye, Seth. Come on, colorless. Give him to me. No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright. No colorless here, so... Um... We'll just end it with one red stone. Give me something cool. Yeah, Fury's... Fury's cool. I could put that on my, uh... I could put that on Naga. But that will end it. Um... Yeah, uh, that was overall a great session. I, I did get a little carried away there chasing Duma merges, and I'm still very tempted to, you know what, let's, let's just leave there uh, because I don't want <laughs> to te be tempted into pulling for more. Uh, but overall, that was a, a great session. Oh, wow, I still had lots of space, actually. I thought I was closer to being filled than that. But uh, overall, a successful session. We got the two Nagas. Uh, and we got Guntra and uh, three Levatines, all minus speed, and a Valoria. So, uh, lots of fun stuff that I get to build and play around with now. Uh, but yes, uh, I, I think I'm still I'm still set up to do pretty well in Astra season. So, uh, looking forward to that. Thank you, as always, so much for watching uh, my horrible, horrible... Oh, and I had Lou. I forgot about him. Uh, but thank you for watching my horrible, horrible problem. <laughs> uh, and best of luck to all of you on your summons, whether it be for Naga or anyone else that you decide to go for. Uh, brides, new heroes, etc. 
And uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon, signing out.